Welcome to the Service Clinic at Low Country Harley-Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. I want to say I'm like you. I'm all over the internet looking for information and people that have a lot of knowledge that can help me give you a better product, a better time on your Harley-Davidson. This week, Steve at GMR Performance, he's out of Texas, got together with two experts on fuel injectors and I learned a lot about fuel injection, how to choose the fuel injectors and I highly recommend if you can find the recording of that evening you'll get a lot of information. I want to share what I learned that I think I can pass on to you. If you are choosing a cam, all right, it's easy. Well, not really easy. You got to look at all the research and the data and see if it fits you. But let's talk about your bike before you choose the cam. Yes, you could bring this to your mechanic, your tuner, and say, hey, I want this put in, and then I want you to tune it. But is your bike ready for that more performance? Let's back up. This fuel injection unit is a little mini solenoid. The solenoid opens and shuts, opens and shuts. Well, the ECM, the electronic control module, controls how this opens and shuts. Now, it's always receiving voltage in the system, but the ECM uses a ground to open and shut it. So then that brings up to, okay, voltage is a crucial thing that we get the voltage it needs to be able to open and shut the solenoid at 3,000, 5,000 RPM. Man, that's a thousand a lot of times as things open and shutting. So before you put a cam in and maybe the bigger injectors, Let's look at your motorcycle. Let's just say you have a 2017 M8 and uh, it's got 30,000 miles on it. You want a little more pickup. You gotta choose a cam to put in it. But what's the age of your battery? Remember, voltage is important for this little guy to do his job right. How old is your battery? Three, four years old? You do your own maintenance. You've got a volt gauge, put it on it. Is it bigger? Does it have more than 12.8? If it gets below 12.8, 12.6, well, it's not really got the supply you need. And then let's take it a step further. Once this battery gets things going, how's your charging system? Put your voltmeter on there. Go to 3,000 RPM. Is it putting out the maximum it should? Because if this isn't good and this isn't supporting it, then this isn't getting the voltage that it needs so many times per RPM. Let me give you a story here. There was a guy that had a tuner put in a cam, tune his motorcycle, it ran great. Down the road, he calls the tuner up and says, my bike is running terrible. I'm on the side of the road, it's missing. Man, it's just terrible. And so the guy said, okay, let's FaceTime. Let me go through what you got. And he started looking over the motorcycle and he says, hey, how new is that stereo system? Oh man, I just had that put in by an automotive place. It's fantastic, man. They put this amplifier in and all that kind of stuff. And the tuner said, hey, do me a favor. Lift up the seat. You got a big fuse there. Take the fuse out. Start the motorcycle up. Sure enough, did that. Bike started, ran. He ran all the way back to his house. It ran perfectly. Called the tuner up and said, what's up? He said, take your bike back to the auto place that put the stereo in. Because the stereo is drawing so much from this system that it cannot supply the voltage needed for this solenoid. So even adding a stereo system to your bike before you did this or after this can affect this little guy here. So before you make this decision, find out how old your battery is, how well it's doing, is the charging system supporting this? And then, as I said, the electronic control module is opening and shutting this through the ground. How are the grounds on your frame? How is the main ground from the battery to the frame? And then there is the ground in front of your battery that has the black and green. That's the grounds for the ECM. If it's corroded or you've got some accessory lights on that, that post or something, hey, you're, you're robbing away from it able to do its job. So I want you to check all this stuff so this little guy can do his job. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.